Tehran accused the United States of threatening Russia with new atomic weapons after Washington published a document outlining plans to expand its nuclear capabilities to deter others. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani said, The same people who supposedly believe that using weapons of mass destruction is a crime against humanity are talking about new weapons to threaten or use against rivals. Iran's foreign affairs minister later tweeted that the U.S. policy document posed the risk of, quote, bringing humankind closer to annihilation. Opposition politicians use their... Moscow retains a large stockpile of non-strategic nuclear weapons and continues to modernize those as well as its strategic systems. This report says aggression from Russia, concerns about China and North Korea, and potentially Iran are the reasons the U.S. needs to modernize its nuclear weapons. And it's changing the wording on when it could use them, saying the U.S. could use nuclear weapons in extreme circumstances to defend the vital interests of the U.S. What's new is they added this line, extreme circumstances could include significant non-nuclear strategic attacks. The military was asked to clarify what that means. Would that also involve the employment of biological weapons against the U.S. population or allies? Would it involve the use of chemical weapons against our people? Would it involve a conventional attack in other parts of the world? The context in which an attack occurred on the United States or our allies would be how we would evaluate the appropriate response. The plan also calls for modernizing the nuclear arsenal. That's something the last administration wanted to do, and at the time they said it was going to cost more than a trillion dollars over 30 years. This plan would undoubtedly be even more expensive, and that has not been something that Congress has been really willing to fund at this point. It would be wonderful, as we were discussing just a little while ago, if NATO and our country could get along with Russia. Right now, we're not getting along with Russia at all. We may be at an all-time low in terms of uh, relationship with Russia. This is built for a long period of time. Putin is the leader of Russia. Russia is a strong country. It's vicious and violent. And everybody in this room saw it all too many times over the last three or four days. Young children dying, babies dying, fathers holding children in their arms that were dead, dead children. Uh, it can't be a worse sight. What if I told you that perhaps the biggest news story of the year so far has been completely ignored or, better put, covered up by the mainstream media? No doubt our audience wouldn't be totally surprised by that revelation. However, I think the average person on the street would be totally shocked to find out that Russian President Vladimir Putin believes a war between Russia and the United States and its NATO allies is imminent. Diplomatic relations have deteriorated and NATO's deployment of anti-missile systems in Europe is a direct violation of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, the INF, between Russia and the United States. And that's because these anti-missile systems that NATO is putting on Russia's borders can easily and quickly be repurposed or converted to facilities capable of firing short and mid-range missiles. In a meeting with foreign press just last month, Vladimir Putin left no one in any doubt that the world is heading down a course which could lead to a nuclear war. We know year by year what's going to happen, and they know we know. It's only you that they tell these fables, and you buy it and spread it to the citizens of your countries. Your people do not feel a sense of the impending danger. This is what worries me. How do you not understand that the world is being pulled in an irreversible direction? That is the problem. But they pretend like nothing's going on. Uh, I don't even know how to get through to you people anymore. Now, this was probably one of the most important political speeches since the run-up to World War II. And most historians agree that we are seeing a lot of parallels right now to the start of World War I and World War II. Russia says the U.S. is making it more difficult for them to avoid the outbreak of large-scale conflicts. Vladimir Putin just signed a document declaring NATO a threat 
to their national security. He also says we are on the brink of war and the fact that you are not hearing about any of this on the mainstream news shows just how controlled the media is. We are witnessing one of the most unstable times in human history. Russia says it has successfully test launched a hypersonic missile, one of a range of nuclear capable weapons announced by President Vladimir Putin earlier this month. No one in the world has anything like that so far. Russian President Vladimir Putin hyping a new arsenal of invincible nuclear weapons. Any use of nuclear weapons against Russia or our allies, however powerful they are, we will treat as a nuclear attack on our country. The response will be immediate and with all the consequences. The country's defense ministry released video footage showing the missile detaching from a fighter jet and leaving a fiery trail behind it. It traveled extremely fast and capable of evading any missile defense system. The defense ministry said the missile was launched from a MiG-31 jet that took off from an airfield in southwest Russia on Saturday. The U.S. today has the most powerful economy and military controls worldwide commerce, is proud and arrogant, has the most developed air force and space program, and it is the envy of the world. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Remember which country the prophet said was from the north? the same country that Ezekiel said will lead a great alliance of nations to the borders of Israel? If war happens, the United States must be the first target. That is why the prophets foretell that at the start of this war, Russia will unexpectedly use a very special weapon, the weapon of indignation, against the whole territory of the U.S., a weapon like which the world has never seen. The Holy Book shows how Babylon will feel the fury of this terrible weapon. This weapon will hit our entire country and all our defenses will be in vain. Though Babylon should mount up to heaven, and though she should fortify the height of her strength, yet the spoilers come unto her. This weapon paralyzes our military and leaves it almost defenseless. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. Their might hath failed. The broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken, and her high gates shall be burned with fire. She hath given her hand. Her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down. Because the spoiler is come upon her, even upon Babylon, and her mighty men are taken, every one of their bows is broken. And after the attack, Babylon is left silent and in darkness. Sit thou silent, and get thee into darkness, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. All three prophets tell of the fall of Babylon, the destruction of the United States of America as we know it. This is not an event that happened to ancient Babylon in the past. History has never recorded the fall of a state or a city in the way described by the prophets. What weapon could silence an entire continent in one hour? The world has never seen one until a few years ago with the creation of the Electromagnetic Pulse or EMP. Over and over, think tanks like the EMP Commission, working for the Senate, have warned how this is the greatest and perhaps only real vulnerability of the United States. Yet no administration has done anything about it. We are completely unprepared for what's coming. Every report says the same thing. This event can wipe out 90% of Americans and all it takes is just one warhead to be detonated above the United States to take us back to medieval times. The lasting effects will destroy society as we know it, exactly as the scriptures predicted. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. 
Without hospitals or pharmacies being able to function, people won't be able to take their necessary medication. Without running water, heat, and garbage disposal, diseases will break out. As cars and trucks stop running, market shelves will become empty. Desperate people will become looters and there will be food riots. There will be no police, no law, no health care, no help. It will all descend into chaos and confusion. A complete collapse of everything we take for granted today. As the prophet Jeremiah says, And it shall be, when thou hast made an end of reading this book, that thou shalt bind it to a stone, and cast it into the midst of Euphrates. And thou shalt say, Thus shall Babylon sink, and shall not rise from the evil that it will bring upon her. And this is the start of the time of tribulation and sorrows. For then shall be a great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And yet, the prophet shows that there is still hope, but the ones who endures to the end will be saved. The message couldn't be any clearer. The warnings are there so that only the ones who believe the words and warnings of our Lord and prepare will be saved. My name is Alexander Kane. I am a theology professor working at one of the largest universities in Arkansas. I earned a doctor's degree in theology and ancient history, and for the past 19 years I have studied the ancient scriptures. And as I saw this prophecy come true, I knew I had to do everything in my power to protect the ones I love, and the obvious place to look for answers is in what people did 200 years ago to survive and thrive without electricity. The knowledge, methods, and skills of our ancestors will keep us alive after the EMP. I have discovered ways to keep food from spoiling without a fridge, and the secret to storing heat-sensitive medicine, and surprising places where you can find drinkable water, enough to sustain your family for months, even if you live in a barren region. I learned how anyone, and this includes seniors and kids, can survive without electricity. The only one condition is that they need to know what to do when the power goes out and have preparations in place. I knew that I had discovered the true solution to the coming biblical disaster. I set to work on writing down everything I had learned, and when I was all done, I realized everything I had learned added up to a comprehensive guide to surviving and thriving during the coming EMP-generated Dark Ages. Every word written in the knowledge that what's coming is worse than Katrina, Sandy, or any other natural disaster. The fall of Babylon America will be man-made and countrywide, and there will be no place to hide. But faith, knowing what to do, and preparing for what's coming are the only things that will get you through the fall of Babylon America. That is why I have named my work Alive After the Fall. Everything inside is specifically designed to get you through the immediate effects of the weapon of indignation. This is like a Noah's Ark packed with knowledge for the coming disaster. Let me show you exactly what I mean. It's just a seemingly normal evening, and you're probably home watching TV when suddenly all the lights and electronics go out. Without any warning and without any explanation, the utilities are out. There are no more lights. There is no running water or gas for your oven. Your phone doesn't work. You look out the window and see that everywhere you look, it's the same. Darkness and silence. You knew that this was coming. You know what has happened. And you know you are ready because you discovered and put into place a step-by-step -step plan to prepare for when the EMP strikes. That is what Alive After the Fall is all about. You know exactly how to find and cook food without using any power, and the hidden tricks to prevent your food and medicine from spoiling. While everybody else is looking helpless, waiting and hoping for the power to come back on, you are already using the simple and surprising methods you discovered to preserve your essential supplies from spoiling. You and your loved ones will not be among those scavenging for scraps. 
You head to the local store fast and hoard the seven must-have medicine supplies that you can use to keep away 84% of the diseases that will run rampant after the fall of Babylon. Now it's time to stock up fast before the stores are looted and you will be there before the lawlessness starts. This stockpile will be worth more than gold after the EMP. You'll feel safer knowing you have protected essential electronics like flashlights from the EMP using a Faraday cage. This simple device will shield your electronics from the EMP. This device is sold on the black market for $600, but I will show you how to assemble one by using common parts that you have in your house in just under 23 minutes. By going through Alive After the Fall, you already discovered the five vital electronics that are crucial to have after the EMP strike, and they are all safe inside the Faraday cage. There will be other survivalists and preppers out there, and restoring some basic communication and lighting are the first steps towards rebuilding a society. You feel privileged knowing that you took all the steps. Your car still runs after the EMP, even though the pulse fries car engine circuits. Having transportation is a daily necessity right now and a vital part of surviving when society breaks down. You will also need to know exactly how to make sure you and your loved ones stay calm and are prepared for the mental stress of such a calamity. And that's why when you get access to Alive After the Fall, you will also receive the survivalist mindset, keeping calm and assertive after the fall. You should know that the human mind is the most powerful weapon in any disaster situation, and this knowledge will make you sharp, aware, and focused, even when others are falling apart mentally. This guide is dedicated to showing you all the secrets to overcome the powerful emotions that can overcome even the most seasoned survivalist during a disaster. In Chapter 1, you will discover the simple blueprint to coping with the emotional stress that can ruin even the most carefully put-together survival plan. Anticipate, identify, and manage. You will learn the simple remedies for the most crippling emotional states, isolation, anxiety, and hopelessness, and many, many others. This knowledge will keep you and every member of your group confident, disciplined, and steadfast and will maximize your chances of survival. How to keep morale up and how to maintain a positive attitude. Using this information, you will become a true leader of the community. Keep in mind that many have lost their lives because they succumbed to emotional stress first and having this tool will make sure you are not among them. The final thing you need to know immediately after the fall is how to keep basic hygiene and sanitary conditions. It's called Secret to Sanitization After the Fall. And this is what the final part of the Alive After the Fall package is designed to show you. How to be safe from diseases by using survival techniques to dispose of potentially harmful waste and garbage. The horrifying truth is that bacteria and microbes that can generate disease are responsible for 65% of deaths after a disaster. And you will have the knowledge to keep them all away. How to efficiently use limited hygiene supplies to maximize their effectiveness. You will take comfort knowing that you will make the most of the limited supplies you have and that they will last two to three times more by using simple tricks. You will also discover how to prioritize hygiene needs during a disaster. Valuable resources must always be kept on high priority sanitization needs and not squandered on petty ones. All of the information above is designed to take you through all the immediate effects of an EMP and to help you put together the best survival plan of this biblical disaster. When you get Alive After the Fall, you will also get access to the Alive After the Fall members area where you can check out the products, download and print them. I definitely advise you to keep multiple hard copies around. When the power goes out, all of this information has to be easily accessible. It took me 16 months to develop this state-of-the-art guide to surviving the EMP. This is hands-on, hard-earned experience and knowledge from those who discovered how to live a happy and even comfortable life without electricity. You will discover how to put together an EMP survival plan for your family, how to keep a cool head when society collapses around you, and how to be safe clean and keep diseases away.
This is the vital and essential knowledge for the most dangerous and desperate times in American history. And it is the most important investment you will ever make because of one very important thing that you may have already realized. Money will become useless when Babylon America falls. Its value will become zero because people will need other stuff to survive. Knowledge, skills, and supplies will be the currency of the post-DMP world. These will be worth more than gold. That is why each dollar I receive from my guide will be used for something much more important. It is needed to keep my presentation online in order to get this crucial information to those people who need it and to those who are willing to take their fate into their own hands. Just like you, other American patriots and Christians need a chance to survive the coming disaster. And that is why the Alive After the Fall guide is now available for only $37. I don't know if you've noticed, but nothing just falls from the sky. God helps you but he does not lay it on your table. You have to work hard and do things for yourself. As long as you are aware of this, your destiny rests solely on you and your willpower. You can truly change things, and you can do a lot more than you think you can. In order to take full advantage of this and to help me spread the knowledge, you need only to click Get Instant Access and fill in the required information on the next page. We must keep this website running warn others and get them to prepare and your contribution may save lives and alive after the fall is not just emp protection it's also about how you can cope with a food shortage a massive pandemic a natural disaster or any other type of emergency situations expert preppers would charge you 250 dollars at least for the knowledge contained in these bonuses and books available will be at least a hundred dollars but you are getting them absolutely free when you click on the Get Instant Access button. And you will also enter the Alive After the Fall online community, where you get updates on the latest survival techniques, methods, and news you won't hear about anywhere else. There is a possibility that you are the last person that sees my documentary. Regardless, my mission stays the same. It is my duty to let people know of what's coming and to make sure they are prepared. And because I want to make sure everybody that made this contribution is completely happy with it, on top of all of this, I'm taking away all the risk from you because you are covered by my no questions asked money back guarantee during a 60 day period. All I ask is that you go through the guides, discover the information, see if you find it helpful and send me any questions or any kind of advice. And I am doing this because I am confident my work can save your life. You now know the dark secret hidden in the last chapters of the Holy Book. And I have already shown you just how close to fulfilling this ancient prophecy we are. Throughout history, all those who have not listened to the words of the Bible prophets have suffered immensely. You should really ask yourself, who will you turn to when this prophecy comes true? And your answer should be, I am confident I can rely on everything I know to get me through, even when the lights in the United States go out forever. Make no mistake, there's no help coming. You have to rely on your knowledge and skills. They will be your secret weapon when our society will shatter into a million pieces, and you will be the only one with a clear head and a well-thought-out plan. You will become a true leader for your community. You will be a shining beacon while others surrender to panic and confusion. There are only three possible options. Option one, you can do nothing, ignore the signs, or just hope all of this will not come to pass. But you were shown how this prophecy is coming true step by step. We are getting closer and closer to the fall of Babylon America. The greatest and darkest event in human history is coming. So after seeing all the signs, is this a chance any real Christian can take? Can you truly think of yourself as a diligent husband or father and pass on an opportunity to keep your family safe? Doing nothing means taking on all the risks, exposing yourself and your loved ones to famine, violent rioters, disease, and God knows what else. When the EMP hits, 
Those who knew but did nothing will have to deal with all of the consequences of this disaster and the guilt of knowing they could have been ready but chose to ignore the signs. You did not come here by accident. You are presented with the option to save yourself and those you care about. You have only one true solution in hand, and you can take it 100% risk-free. Also, I mentioned earlier someone is trying their best to shut us down. It might not be long before they succeed. Option 2 means trying to prepare and to learn everything by yourself. For me, it meant going through months of research and painful planning. But time is something you don't have right now. Option 3 means getting the Alive After the Fall program right now. A risk-free, worry-free, all research done for you plan. If you care about your safety, if you really want your family to be secure and are willing to do what it takes to do that, this is the option for you. North Korea is denouncing a new American nuclear strategy that calls for the U.S. to enhance its arsenal of low-yield nuclear weapons. A spokesperson for the North Foreign Ministry's Institute of American Studies says the U.S. strategy is a declaration of war against the world. As part of our defense, we must modernize and rebuild our nuclear arsenal, hopefully never having to use it, but making it so strong and so powerful that it will deter any acts of aggression by any other nation or anyone else. Perhaps someday in the future, there will be a magical moment when the countries of the world will get together to eliminate their nuclear weapons. Unfortunately, we are not there yet.